Vermont's primary election less than two weeks away. Tonight, we continue our look at each of the candidates running for governor. Tonight, current Governor Phil Scott looking for a second term. Local 22's Spencer Conlin with more. On the road to recovery is how Phil Scott describes his first term as Vermont's governor. We were able to, uh, to accomplish a lot with the legislature uh, in order to uh, have a correction about the affordability of Vermont and doing things differently. Scott credits his administration with adding thousands of workers to the state's labor force and eliminating Social Security income tax for mid to low income Vermonters. But he admits it's not been drama free. In nearly two years, the governor vetoed a number of bills, including multiple budgets passed by the legislature. I'm not going to apologize for being a fiscal conservative. Scott says he's frugal and touts there have been no new fees or taxes under his watch. We should not be spending more than we're taking in, uh, and we've been doing that over the last number of years. The governor created waves among his party and supporters in May when he signed sweeping gun legislation into law. It's a decision that came in response to a foiled school shooting plot at Fairhaven Union High School. I realize and own up to the fact that uh, many are disappointed, uh, angry over the gun issue. Every day I try and do uh, what I need to do for the right reasons, uh, and I chose action over inaction. Scott has also been outspoken when it comes to the Trump administration, its immigration policies in particular. I call them as I see them. We found uh, ways where we can work with this administration. Um, but uh, but I'll continue to be independent. After 18 years in Montpelier, Scott says the focus must be on growing the economy and attracting young people and families to the state. If they'll give me an, another uh, two years, uh, we can prove uh, that we'll be more prosperous in Vermont and we'll be more attractive uh, to those who we're trying to welcome in. Spencer Cumm on the Local 22 News.